Chris saw the conflict firsthand during his trip to Ukraine. And with us now, Chris, I know it's something you've been talking about we have as well on the show. At what point do we say to the Ukrainians, it's great that you're fighting Vladimir Putin and that's fine, but at some point we're going to have to decide that we get a negotiated ceasefire and aren't going to keep funding you until, uh, you know, the cows come home and you kick everybody out of Crimea. Uh, my understanding is that it is Russia who has not been open to going to the table and that the United States has been mm. uh, fairly consistent uh, in saying that as soon as they want to talk uh, in a way that uh, makes a possibility withdrawal from Ukraine, uh, then we'll sit down. And my understanding, and I heard it from President Zelensky's own mouth, is that he has no problem uh, negotiating terms that get them completely out of their territory. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, 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 I know. Right yeah, no, I, I agree with you on that. I'm talking about saying to the Ukrainians, look, we're not going to just keep funding and sending you as many artillery shells and missiles as you want. You're going to have to give up a little bit of eastern Ukraine, maybe not permanently, but say, look, we're, we need to have a ceasefire here. We need to put an end to the bloodshed. We need to put an end to depleting U.S. military stockpiles. If that means a ceasefire with some Russian stain on what is Ukrainian land for a little while, so be it. I have no problem with the premise. It's just that they're not the aggressor. So you yeah. have to have the aggressor stop attacking. You're not, you know, the idea of telling me to have peace negotiations when you're punching me in the face. Stop punching me in the face and then we'll have peace negotiations. So uh, what has changed the calculus a little bit is Ukraine's aggression in Crimea. Uh, the reports that there are Ukraine sympathizers, uh, like civil, civil rebellion going on there, yeah. I think overstates the case. Uh, you know, they're putting a lot of assets to play in Crimea to kick the Russians out. Uh, I can understand their argument. I can also understand um, the Russian cultural argument. Of course, their means of annexing Crimea uh, flagrantly uh, broke international law. Uh, the only part I don't worry about that you raised as a concern is our stockpiles aren't the issue here. We're giving them weaponry that don't make sense for us to use in conflicts anywhere else. This is old technology. What's going on over there is closer to trench warfare than what we engage in anywhere else I've ever seen. Yeah, interesting. All right. Well, I know you guys are coming in that tonight uh, on the show. We'll be, uh, we'll be watching. Thanks, my friend. I hope it ends, brother. I'd love to be there to cover yeah, it no, with you. you. Yeah, there you go. Be a fun trip. All right. Good talking to you, Chris. We'll see you in a minute. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.